because all of you here today have succeeded against the backdrop of the pandemic. And we acknowledge the challenges you have had to overcome to complete your studies. Through the triumphs and the setbacks, you have shown exceptional determination and resilience and have made your families and the staff at the university very proud of you. Well done. Today is a time to celebrate with your families and friends who have supported you on behalf, on behalf sorry, who have supported you and on behalf of the Board of Governors, I offer my warmest congratulations on your academic success to all of you and to those unable to be with us today. It is now my great pleasure to introduce your <coughs> Vice-Chancellor, Professor Rebecca Bunting. Well, another very warm welcome to this graduation ceremony of the University of Bedfordshire. And I'm so delighted that we're able to celebrate this day together. And what a joyful day it is after everything you've been through. You did it. You actually made it. Now, we may be in a church, but we can make some noise. So can we make a lot of noise now and cheer and just congratulate you on your great successes? And let's see how much noise you can make. <coughs> On my count. One, two, three. Woo! I remember George. <laughs> 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 we can do another one later, so yes. As you might imagine, I've been to very many graduation ceremonies in my career, and they're always such happy celebrations, special days in your lives and your family's, family's lives that will stay with you and be treasured forever. But graduation isn't just a ceremony. It's a turning point in your lives. You look back on all the hard work, all the amazing experiences you've had, the friendships that you've made, some of which will last the whole of your lives. It's a time to reflect on the challenges you've faced and how you've overcome them. Many of you have families and caring responsibilities. Many of you have held down jobs during your studies. You've all had to deal with the many challenges of the pandemic and the post-pandemic period. So we look back on all of that and we say, well done, we're very proud of you. But it's also a time to look to the future, a future that's not entirely known to any of you. You will each go on your own way, on a new and different journey. And as each of you embarks on this new and exciting stage of your life, I do hope that there are some things that you'll have in common as graduates of the university. I hope that you will want to create a better society through your selflessness, honesty, and integrity. I hope that you will want to create a more equal and just society, to be the architects of a more ethical world where everyone, no matter who they are or where they live, can thrive, and when moral behavior for the wider good prevails over selfishness and personal gain. I hope that you will have the confidence to challenge what is not just or fair, to stand up to prejudice and discrimination, and to advance what is honest and true. You are the future, and you can help to create a caring, prosperous society. Education transforms lives. It has transformed your lives. And it's easy to take it for granted in a liberal society. But we might want to pause just for a moment to consider those many societies around the world where universal education is unavailable or denied, especially to women and girls. Education is so precious. I do hope you have valued your education, that you won't let it go to waste, and that you will keep on learning and developing wherever life takes you. Be ambitious, be bold, achieve remarkable things. You can do this. 
Now, today would not have been possible without the support of your family and friends and the staff of the university and the colleges where you have studied. So I think it would be appropriate to make some more noise now and to thank them for their help and encouragement. Please raise the roof for a second time to thank all those who have supported and helped you over the last few years. and come back to inspire the next generation of students. You may be leaving the university, but you will always be part of the family of the University of Bedfordshire. My very best wishes to you all for a happy and fulfilling life. Many congratulations and welcome to the community of graduates of the University of Bedfordshire. Thank you. <laughs> I would now like to invite Dr. Louise Grant, Executive Dean of the Faculty of Health and Social Sciences, to announce today's awards. Vice-Chancellor, Governor Beck. It gives me great pleasure to present to you the graduates from the Faculty of Health and Social Sciences. We begin with postgraduate awards. For Advanced Clinical Practice Nursing, Master of Sciences, James Grioli. Advanced Clinical Practitioner, Master of Sciences, Lee Robinson. <laughs> Sheila Sukmoran. <laughs> Aviola Tijani. <laughs> Childhood and Youth Applied Perspectives, <laughs> Master of Arts. Helen Murray. <laughs> Criminology Master of Arts, Emmanuel Afilka. <laughs> Lauren Butterworth Williams. <laughs> Judith English. 